So the time has finally come to take on the fire gym, and uh, I'm excited to see how this goes. In terms of the team, we should probably be using Barney, who's only level 25. Everyone else is actually looking pretty nice, though. Let's uh, let's toss Snowball in front, just get you a couple more levels. Dexter is going to have probably a pretty easy time here, so... Not going to need to get too many levels on that dude, but let's just head right over. So it's in the same area where we did do the opening ceremony. And uh, Hop is just chilling here already. What's up, buddy? This guy's quite the early riser. Slow moving, aren't you, Hayden? Not, not really, man. It's early as shit in the morning. I just woke up, got dressed, came right over here. The man of fire cabo is what you'd expect. Nearly got burned to my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go. But I still won in the end. Get a shift on, Hayden. I bet you could beat the man of fire, too. Nice, so we're just going to head right in, and uh, we've been moving right along in our gym challenges here. We've kind of just been, ever since the first gym, we've been getting it done quickly. So, hey, Hop's already in here? What the hell? I was on fire in my battle against that cabin. Okay, well, he's just going to stand here and wait for me, I guess. Hey, a gym challenger. That's a welcome sight. We don't have too many challengers since our leader, Cabu, has made his gym mission so hard. But I'll be happy to get you registered at once. I am ready. Let's do it. So we have to change into our uniform. Go ahead and toss on... Our athletic threads and we are ready to see what uh, this gym's got in store for us you may find the fire gym's mission a bit different than others you faced in you go all right that's a pretty cool looking looking logo I actually really do like the designs on those all right so this place has grass in it and uh, much smaller than the other gyms it seems like what the hell is happening so we do have the this guy's always in the beginning of all the gyms he just kind of lets you know what's happening with the challenges I guess What's up, buddy? The gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass. Or two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Interesting. So the gym mission has started. And, uh, I guess... We're just gonna run into a wild Pokemon. Hey, that's something new! Yay! Look at it, it's the Sizzlipede. We have not been able to catch one of these things yet, and we're actually battling in a... it's a double battle. So I assume... What, are we in like a race to catch this thing? Well, if that's the case, we're gonna headbutt the Salandit. Hold up. We're gonna kill the Salandit. It's gonna fake out, and it attacks me. You bastard. <laughs> that is gonna activate our Steadfast, though. So, even though it's not too big of a deal. Uh, now this thing's gonna use Flame Wheel. Don't attack me, please. Damn it! Dude, I'm actually excited to catch this thing. Seems pretty awesome. We're going to go ahead and try to headbutt the Slanded again. We do go first. And it's going to knock it out. So now it's just me and you, Sizzlipede. Young Sizzler. Uh, we do already have a pretty cool fire type on our team. I don't know if I end up wanted to use this thing, but maybe we, we might have to. Um, I am kind of afraid to kill it. I don't think headbutt will kill it. We're going to try to give it one headbutt. And if that kills it, it's unfortunate, but we do still get points. And nice, nice, it does knock it down to decent range. So this thing is a bug in fire type, which is an awesome typing. I really like that a lot. So now that we've got it into range, I don't want Snowball to die. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into Dexter. Swap this thing in. We don't have to worry about taking too much damage. And luckily, the other trainer doesn't have any other Pokemon, I don't think. Nice, so there's another bug bite. Actually does a decent amount. thing is level 25. I really like this Sizzle Pete. All right. Let's just go ahead and give you a great ball. We have 36 of these bad boys. We're going to get our two points here, damn it. I don't know how many points we're supposed to get to be able to do it, but shoot. Going to bug bite me again. My emo boy just out here taking damage. These things are actually kind of scary. I have a decent amount of super potions, though, so it should be okay. Please just let me catch you. I don't want to take more damage. Yes, and click. Yes, we got it. Got ourselves a Sizzlipede. Didn't think I was going to be catching wild Pokemon inside of a gym, but that is pretty damn cool. So, let's see what we got for this thing. It is a bug and fire type. It stores flammable gas in its body and uses it to generate heat. The yellow sections on its belly get particularly hot. So, we're going to give you a nickname. We're going to name you Sizzler. Just like the Steakhouse. <laughs> All right, so that is one. I wonder if there's any other Pokemon in here. I'm basically just naming things immediately what I think they should be named. I, not a whole lot of thought involved into it, but that's the way that's the way we're doing it. So we got one. Claimed two points. Nice. We'll, we'll head over here. There's a Vulpix right here, which is kind of cool. We'll see how this goes. 
So, got ourselves a Vulpix. We are going to catch it just so we can get the extra points. Anyway, if this person's got a Roly Coley. Uh, we should definitely switch. And you know what? We're going to go... Bring in Dexter might be a bad idea. Let's bring... Let's go into Nugget here. Nugget seems like a good option because it's not going to take much damage from the Vulpix. And also... Uh, we should be decent at killing this little pre-evolved form of us. This Vulpix is going to spite, but it failed. So Roly Coley is going to tackle... Actually, just going to attack the Vulpix here, so... Switching it up a little bit, which is interesting. We're going to Rock Blast young Darren's Roly Coley. And, uh, so this should be neutral. And if we get a couple hits... Damn, it only hit it twice. Come on now. I am afraid to weaken this Vulpix, though. That's the only bad part. Now it's going to spite the Roly Coley. This poor Vulpix, all the poor Pokemon in here, they just like capture wild Pokemon and bring them into their gym just to be basically defeated and caught by challengers. How terrible of a life is that? Rock Blast the Roly Coley one more time, that is going to do it. Now it's just me and you, Vulpix. It's just me and you. Alright, so now that Vulpix is going to Will O Wisp us. Does not affect us. And oh, he's got two Pokemon. Now he's got a Growlithe. Damn it. That's annoying. Now we got to. Maybe we actually just let this thing. Now, you know what? No, just kidding. I was gonna be nice and let his Growlithe stay alive so that it could weaken the Vulpix for us, but we're just gonna we're just gonna rock blast this thing straight from the start. Two hits is easily easily gonna do it. And down you go. One thing to note is we don't get experience in this, do we? We do not. Tries to Willy Wisp us again. And now it's just me and you, Vulpix. Um, so I'm afraid we could, this thing probably has flash fire. What should we do to weaken this? We could go into Barney. We'll go into Barney because we can actually nuzzle it and also get a para. Get a nice little para on that bitch. Uh, do a little bit of damage with nuzzle. And also, after the status, we should probably be decent enough to... Oh my god, that incinerate hurts. My little baby dragon is not going to be useful until about level 30. So we're going to nuzzle you. There's a Will-O-Wisp. That's now it's going to make it do even less. But we will at least get the poison. Vulpix might still be a little bit difficult to catch here. I heard not the poison. The para. Get that paralyze on you. And look at that damage. Absolute beast. Okay. So we're getting hurt by our burn. This thing is paralyzed, and I feel like we could probably just catch it. Let's just go for it. Why not? We go for a nice little great ball. Got 34. Please just let me catch you first try. That would be fantastic. Use your great ball. A little bit of lag there. I seem to notice, but should be fine. Come on, first try. Yes. Yes, we did get it. Nice. Didn't spend much time weakening it, but it paid off. So Vulpix was caught. Snowball grows to level 27. Wants to learn Takedown. Nice, that's a better uh, normal move. 90 power. Only 85 accuracy. We also hurt ourselves a little bit. At the same time, we're going to get rid of Defense Curl. Not going to really use Defense Curl too much. I have not so far. And now we have Takedown, so that's going to do a lot of damage. Very nice. So Vulpix is added to the Pokedex. While young, it has six gorgeous tails. When it grows, several new tails are sprouted. We're not going to give you a nickname, just going to send you to the box. You know, basically, just for me to get two catch points, so thank you for that. Alright. So, now we need to catch one more, it seems. We're going to go ahead and use up a super potion here. Going to give one to Snowball. Also, I'm just going to give one to Dexter now. And, uh, you know what? Let's put Drizzile in front. We want you... Get a little bit more, a little bit more. Actually, do we, I don't think we even get experience. Just kidding. Is that a Litwick? That is a Litwick. That is awesome. I love me some Litwick. Good to see our little candle boy has made it. All right, so he's got a Sizzlipede. We are going to Water Pulse the opponent's Pokemon just to get that thing out of here. I haven't had too much trouble with this. I, I feel like the best strategy is just killing the opponent's Pokemon and then catching. I don't know. Confuse Ray. That's going to change things up a little bit. Hopefully we don't hit ourselves. It would be real nice if we could just break through that. Alright, and next Salandit. So, we are going to... And it's a female Salandit too, so you're luckily able to evolve that thing one day, lady. Congratulations on that. So we break through the confusion. Do get the water pulse off. I'm very afraid to attack this little candle, because this thing is going to absolutely get obliterated by anything I hit it with. Now it's going to hex. Uh, emo boy takes a decent amount of damage from that. Okay, so now it's just us and the Litwick. Um, we don't really want to sucker punch or do anything to this. Let's switch. Um, we can't do anything with Snowball. 
Jading can't really do much either. Hmm. What is my best bet here? I, I feel like just going into Barney again. But we're burned. At least we will be able to get it. Get the uh, the paralyze on it. Let's just let's go into Barney. We're gonna give it one nuzzle, unless it actually just kills us. I don't know what attacking moves this thing's gonna be working with. Just gonna confuse Ray. Freaking annoying. I think that definitely just getting a para on this is our best bet and then hucking a Pokeball. I don't know. We could just throw a Pokeball right away. That might be the strategy, but we're going to nuzzle it at least. At least one time. Get you a nice little para. Please break through the confusion. And we do. So we get off the nuzzle. It's going to do like zero damage, but the paralysis is what we're looking for. Make you a little bit easier to catch. I could just get rid of this burn. Now oh, the Hex is actually going to destroy me. Yep, well we got, we got our para on it. It's all we needed to do. And uh, now it is time to figure out. I guess we could go into Chiding and Fury Cutter it a couple times just to knock it down. Probably going to make it a little easier. It's kind of dumb to just huck Pokeballs at it right away. So let's go for a Fury Cutter at least just once. How much is Fury Cutter? Fury Cutter is going to do like negative damage to this thing. But with a crit, it might be, might be a little helpful. Nope, nothing. I'm just afraid to kill it. Maybe I just kill it and just get the, the one point. But I kind of just, I kind of just want to catch it. You know what? Let's just throw some Pokeballs at it. Let's go Let's go for a Great Ball. Maybe we get lucky and catch it first try. Come on, little Litwick. Get me to the gym leader, buddy. Me and you. I'll give you a good home if you just let me go to the gym leader. And we do catch it first try. Nice, Litwick was caught. We will not be using Litwick on our team, but Chandelure is a super cool Pokemon, so we'll take it. Do get some experience for catching, though, which is nice. And alrighty. The flame on its head keeps its body slightly warm. This Pokemon takes lost children by the hand to guide them to the spirit world. Jesus, that is a, that is a scary Pokedex entry. We're just going to send you to a box. And is that it? Congratulations on another mission cleared. We've done it! Great success. Clearing leader Kabu's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire. Next you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, challenger. Alright. I need to get healed up, though. We, uh... We took some damage, and uh, Barney's even dead, which we need to at least revive you so you can get some EXP share shenanigans. We're not going to be using you in this battle, but we will at least give you a revive, so there is that. Next, we're going to Super Potion on Dexter, and then that's looking like we are set to go. So let's switch the lead here. Let's start off with Nugget, um, just because I think... I think that's probably a good idea to save, save our water boy for his potential ace. I don't know what I don't know what Pokemon they're gonna have. Super exciting, challenging new gyms for the very first time. This is only a this is a feeling that doesn't come along every very often. It's pretty sweet. And he's standing right next to us. Oh, doesn't even look at us either. This man is ready to go. The focus. He probably has an evolved form of the little uh, centipede thingy, which we see on the poster over there to the left, which looks amazing. I think it looks super cool. You'll love to see it. All right, so pretty badass gym. Absolutely electric in this place right now. We're ready to do it. Welcome, I'm Kabu, the fire-type gym leader. The fact that you're here means you've bested, you've bested Milo's grass-type Pokemon and Nessa's water-types too. Quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. It will be me, don't you worry. Let's get it, boys. So hopefully we have a little bit of an easier time uh, than we did against the water, the water gym because that was dumb on type matchups. But gonna lead off with a Nine Tails, and also if he does end up having that bug and fire type, Rock Blast will absolutely destroy it. So that's something to know. Anyway, interesting that he has a Nine Tails, which is cool. So we're gonna save our Dynamax. We are just gonna go right for a Rock Blast here. See how much we can do with that. Fire Spin. Not gonna do too much. We even avoid it too. That is right. Starting things off pretty nicely here. Carcoal. Ah, we only hit twice with the damn Rock Blast. Come on now. Help me out here, buddy. Gotta just Rock Blast once more. It's guaranteed to kill. Ember is gonna do, like, nothing to us. And that was an easy... Easy counter is just bringing a Carcoal against this, uh... Against this gym. Unless he busts out something crazy. Might have something with a ground move, which case... Uh, we're gonna have a bad time. But for now, that's one down. Next up... What do you got for me, buddy? Get some solid experience. Nugget grows to level 28. Next up is going to be an RK9. Okay, for RK9, let's go ahead and switch into switch into Dexter. Level 28. We're going to save Karkul in case he has the bug fire thing. We can kind of, I guess, 
judge based on the name of it. If it sounds like that's what it's going to be, because I don't know what it's called, but I think he, that's what he's going to have as his ace. So he has a Ninetales and an Arcanine. This guy's a Kanto legend, level 25. Uh, not super scary. He's going to intimidate us, which does not matter because we're special attacking based. So that is fine. We're just going to go right for I mean, we could just Dynamax this thing right now. I mean, it doesn't seem like too bad. I'm not, you know what? We're not even going to do it. Let's just go for the Water Pulse. He's not going to Dynamax either, either. It seems like they saved the Dynamax for the last Pokemon. Uh, it does take that. And the one thing we have to be worried about with Arcanine is Wild Charge. I don't think this thing's going to have Wild Charge, but it might. It's going to Agility, which is actually kind of spooky. And we can actually just Sucker Punch to try to knock this thing out. Now, it's going to be faster. If it has Wild Charge, I'm scared. But I do think we actually would even be able to live it. Let's just Water Pulse. Sucker Punch is fine. He's just going to bite. As long as you don't flinch me, we're Gucci. Nice. Does not flinch. Fuck a nice little water balloon right at your doggo, and you are dead. Poor doggy cannot swim, and that is two down. One to go. Tons of experience for everybody. Barney 26, Chading 28, Tootsie level 28, and wants to learn Scary Face. We're gonna keep old moves. Do not have any time for Scary Face. Last but not least is a Senti Scorch, and that is definitely what we thought it was. We're gonna switch Pokemon here, and we're going right into Nuggets. Who is a great counter, 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 counter to uh, Senti Scorch just because I'm pretty sure it maintains the bug fire typing. And that makes it uh, not like rock types at all. Light and fire that keep your mind, that get your mind moving, Kabu. There must be a path to victory. You can do it, buddy. So Senti Scorch, this is our first time seeing this thing. And my god, that thing is badass. It reminds me of Mushu. Oh my god, it totally looks like Mushu. We're going to Dynamax now just because we can, and it is time to use Max Rockfall. At least be able to see what this looks like. Assuming he's going to turn this thing huge as well. Going to make our minecart massive just because we can. Luckily, these places have lots of room for these Dynamax Pokemon. He big. So we have seen this thing Dynamax before. And he's back. So assuming he's going to Dynamax as well. Yep. Let's Gigantamax change your size and your form. Oh, he's changing his form too. So Gigantamax is when they have different forms. So meaning this thing is going to look different. Oh. This thing is so cool. I love this thing. Honestly, an awesome design. I might have to add this thing to the team. It's tough though because I already have a sweet fire type. Man. We are going to go for the Max Rockfall. Unfortunately, this is not going to look very good for you, buddy. Absolutely just destroys it in one hit. <laughs> that is unfortunate that you're so weak to rock, buddy. Didn't even get to see what it was going to try to do. The Sandstorm kicks up, but it does not matter because this thing is going to fucking blow up. When those things die, they just <laughs> they straight up explode, which is crazy. So that was actually... That was interesting, but definitely easy because we have a rock fire type. So we had we had definitely an easier time than if we didn't have that. So yeah, luckily, luckily we had uh, our Karkul. Great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. Get $8,640 for winning. Look at us, moving on up in the world. Often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talent surpasses surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. You sure do, buddy, but you got a badass Pokemon, so I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. Glad I could be glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you defeated me. Nice. So the old shake of hands. Sportsmanship, boys. We're gonna add that to the old ring, which is getting slowly but surely nice and filled out. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 35. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Gala region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, can also help it become something better. We adults will be the pillars for you to build on. Thanks, buddy. So that was fun. Love to see it. Hop, we did it, buddy. Figured if anyone could do it, you and Karko would be the ones. But still, that match had me right at the edge of my seat. Oh, did it. And this guy comes strolling up. Challenger Hayden, I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. We get TM38 for Will-O-Wisp, a move that burns the opponent. Also, when you burn an opponent, it drops their physical attack by half, which is great. Take one of our uniforms of the same design Kabu himself wears. So we've got all the fire, we got all the uniforms so far, which is pretty cool. 
think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gems that await you, starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down to the wild area surrounding the city, then make your way to Hammerlock. Nice. So we're going back to the wild area, boys. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. I'm excited to get back into the wild area. We haven't really been able to explore around there too much so far. So it is time to go see what is going on with it. I don't remember exactly even where we're supposed to go, but I assume we're going to kind of just poof there. I guess we just follow Hop and he's going to take us. Yeah. What is up, my dude? Hurry it up, Hayden. I'm going, I'm going as fast as I can, man. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, he's, he's following us. You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off. I bet you are. You can already tell that I'm one of the who will become next champion. Uh, I doubt it. Many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Thanks, buddy. Hey, the other gym leaders are here as well. We made it. Thank goodness for flying taxis. Hayden Hop, congratulations. It's pretty amazing. You two defeated Kabu. Thank you, thank you. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together and see them off as a way of showing our support. Wow, some friendly folks. So, allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. A chant, huh? Hustle, 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 Hop. You can do it, you can do it, Hayden. Th th thank you. That was awkward, but okay. The gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're going to keep winning. Got to if you want to face off in the Champion Cup, after all. Sure do. Come on, Hayden. Let's head for Hammerlock. Nice. To the new city we go. But we got to go through the old wild area, which is cool because now we have Pokemon that are much higher level. We can even do a lot more stuff. So here we are. It's raining. Nice and stormy. Hello again, wild area. My old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. So yeah, we have much more opportunity here now. Hayden, Hammerlock, Hammerlock is up that way. Got it? Well, I've got it. Don't you worry about that. And yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour. But now that you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. Nice. We have a lot of opportunities to catch stuff here. All we have to do is really go straight, but we're going to be doing some exploring. Don't waste your efforts. Oh, freaking BD's here. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. Why are you so negative? I'm going to call you Negative Nancy. Champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. Jeez, just mean. I mean, it seems Hot Pure can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish. More like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest. My bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not going to listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine. I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on, then. I know you challenged Hayden to battle in Gallimine 2 and lost to him there. I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this prattle about Hayden and the champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? Ooh, burn. Get this man a burn heal. See you later, Hayden. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. All right. Cool. So we are headed to Hammerlock City. And uh, we're going to take a look at the map here, maybe, just to kind of see what we're working with. So, yep, just literally head straight there. And, oh, wait, no, false alarm. Yep, straight there this way is where we're, uh, where we're looking to go, right? I guess it's like backwards, but all right. So a Garbodor just spawned in the middle of nowhere. Um, we're gonna go ahead and Barney's level 26. We're slowly but surely getting there. Let's put Snowball in front. Uh, just get you some levels since you're only 27. And let's see what we can find in this wild area. It is really cool how you can access the camera much easier in this. I mean, not much easier. You can't use the camera anywhere else other than in the wild area. But pretty cool. I wonder if we have trainers here. Fished up something brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. Want my brilliant fine for a brilliant bargain of just 100 watts? He's going to give me a Magikarp. I'm not buying you damn Magikarp for 100 watts. So, watts are like some currency. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. There's freaking two Electrikes together. Did anybody... Hold up. We got some freaking deformed Electric. And now they've split. That was weird. Interesting. So... Not a whole lot of crazy stuff in this ground so far. Just getting chased down by Electrix. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna explore in the wild area quite a bit. I feel like this is a good time for us to kind of see what this place has got to offer. There's an Oddish right there. More Stuffles. Seems like there's Stuffles freaking everywhere. Also, so yeah, Watts. I don't really know what they are, but you can buy stuff with them. If we click on these, uh, we gain 50 Watts. So we could get 100 easily to go see what that guy's gonna give us. But you know, I feel like we might as well even do it. I don't know. I want to see what powerful stuff spawns. So when 
Oh, Butterfree. Hey, get back here, buddy. How do I battle the Butterfree? <laughs> we did. We ran into a damn Electric. Get out of here, Electric. We do like your shiny version, though. So if you were shiny, I would not be mad. Blue Electrics are cool. Electrics is a sweet Pokemon, too. So we like you. But uh, there's another one of these things. We're just going to go around collecting watts. There's a Haunter over there. Energy trickling out. We get ourselves 50 watts. Thank you. Thank you. Nice little Haunter. Probably not going to catch you. More Electrics. Another Den thingy. Got some Wingles all over the place. So this is actually... I think maybe even the same exact area where we, I think we came in from over there the initial, the first time. So uh, there's a lot, there's a, just a lot that we can do here. Ran into another, oh, it's a Metapod. Hey there, buddy. I haven't had a Metapod before. We're just gonna run from everything for the most part though. Electric currents running across the battlefield. I think that increases the power of electric moves. That's pretty crazy that that happens because there's a thunderstorm. Wild. Um, so yeah, we can, can go through that way. That's that's got to be where we're headed, right? Hold up. Checking out the town map. We're definitely just supposed to go. We're not supposed to go this way. Yeah, we're definitely just supposed to go through there. I assume. Well, that's Moto Stoke though. We got Wedgehurst there. What are we looking? Yeah, we're looking to go all the way through to Hammerlock. So yeah, we've got quite the. We've got quite the distance. We could hop on the bicycle a little bit more efficiently. So yeah, let's go this way, and then we can go down into that like valley. Does this mean we've already clicked on this one? Not to, doesn't seem to be anything in the den. I think that's where raid battles happen too, which we're gonna have to check out. There's a Pelipper right there too. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is where we went up initially uh, when we were in the wild area, but we did not go across this bridge yet. So we're gonna go check that out. Freaking garbage doors everywhere. You garbage. We will click on you, grab the 50 watts, thank you. And now it is suddenly sunny. There's also a light part there. I believe we saw that light part um, last time we were in this wild area. Got some bull picks. There's some uh, bunneries. Or bunnelbees. Grab some 50 watts. I kind of want to hop off the bicycle. I feel like it's better to be running around here. All right. Keeping my eyes peeled for cool stuff we might find in the grass, but let's just go right across since we have not before. Also, let's talk to you. What's up, camper guy? You'll be amazed after crossing the bridge. What's so amazing? The Pokemon that live on the other side, they're so strong. You won't be able to catch them unless you have several gym badges, though. I mean, I kind of have several. I have three. Is that considered several? I feel like it sort of is. So here we have the Motorstoke Riverbank, and yo, just a Snorlax right off the bat. Interesting. We're gonna grab 50 watts from there. Also, there is a cutie fly thingy. I'm gonna go ahead and shake the tree. Grab us some berries just in case we wanna make some curry. You never know when you might need some curry. Gonna shake it like at least twice. Three berries on the ground, we're shaking it some more. Grab some more. Citrus berry. Four berries, we're just gonna grab them. I don't know, I feel like there's other ingredients you can get to curries other than berries, but we haven't come across any yet. I know that at one point they showed like sack of potatoes in one of like the, in one of the uh, things they show. Oh, geez, that Sneasel coming at me quick. So that's cool. We found a wild Sneasel. Haven't seen any of those yet. We will grab our 50 watts from here. What else is in this grass? So we got some purloins. Got a Wooloo right here. Yo, Wooloo, be shiny. We're running into you just so you're black sheep. Damn it. I thought you were going to be a black sheep. Well, unfortunately not. Is hailing in this area. I guess that's why there was Sneasels there. Pretty cool. What else do we got over here? I think that was a Vanillux over there. Yep, that's a Vanillux, or Vanillite, I mean. The cutie fly be chasing after me. Jesus. So the Sneasels are pretty sweet. I really would. Oh my god, Conkeller just came out of freaking nowhere. Jesus, what is up, buddy? Let's run into this thing and just see what level it is. It's probably gonna be pretty damn high. Uh, but I do think we can catch it. We can get up to level 35. So. Snowball is a terrible matchup here. And this Kung Kelder is level 55. What? It's not going to let me run. Okay. Jeez. Level 55. What? My God. Overkill. Sneasel coming at me again. Freaking Sneasel's everywhere. This is so cool. I love the wild area. Bunch of cutie flies everywhere. Having a great time exploring. Going to grab some more Watts. Very nice. Is it not hailing anymore? 
What do we have here? We got some, uh, is that a frillish? No, those were the freaking L gems. Oh my god, yes, look at it, guys, it's a freaking elephant. Those things, the, uh, the little alien boys freaking teleport away. And yo, we got a Q-Fant. We have not seen one of you yet, but I've been waiting to get my hands on a damn Q-Fant. I have no idea what type or anything this is. It's level 27, so it could easily be added to the team. And uh, we might have to just revamp the team. They're not very effective. What type are you? Q-Fant. Um, we're gonna give you a double kick. See how you like that. Young Dumbo over here. So a double kick is gonna put it into pretty decent catching range. Perfect. Nice. Hit you two times, obviously, with our double kick. This thing has bulldoze. It's, it's gonna be a ground. Ground elephant, I'm assuming. Ground rock? Who knows? I'm gonna give you a great ball, though. See if we can catch ourselves an elephant, boys. I don't know if I want to toss this on the team, because like I've mentioned before, it's hard to find things to add to the team, but we do catch it. I mean, it's hard to get rid of things, because I, I grow too attached. Damn it. But we got ourselves the old elephant. And let's take a look at you. So it is just a steel type, actually. Digs up the ground with its trunk. Also very strong, being able to carry loads of over five tons without any problem at all. So we're going to give you a nickname, young Q-Fant. You are going to be... Dumbo. A classic. I haven't actually seen the new live-action Dumbo. But a classic movie, nonetheless. We are going to send this to a box because we're going to keep the team how it is for now. But we might do some switching up later. Uh, there's a Drapion right there, too. Super cool. Also, freaking wild Gyarados. And there's a Quillfish. Is that Quillfish? It totally is. I love it. Hold on. What happens if I get on my bicycle? Can I just, like... I can't ride, do my bicycle thing yet. I think soon we'll be able to do that. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the episode here. Next time, we're going to do definitely some more exploring around the old wild area. See what else there is to offer. And uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.